Basidio Mycota is one of two large divisions that, together with the Aska Mycota, constitute the subkingdom Dikarya, often referred to as the higher fungi within the kingdom fungi. More specifically, the Basidio Mycota include these groups mushrooms, puffballs, stinkhorns, bracket fungi, other polypores, jelly fungi, bolets, chanterelles, earth stars, smuts, bunts, rusts, mirror yeasts, and the human pathogenic yeast Cryptococcus. Basidiomycota are filamentous fungi composed of hyphae except for Basidiomycota yeast, refer yeast for more information, and reproduce sexually via the formation of specialized club-shaped end cells called basidia that normally bear external myospores, usually four. These specialized spores are called homosapiomatosin. However, some Basidiomycota reproduce asexually in addition or exclusively. Basidiomycota that reproduce asexually discussed below can be recognized as members of this division by gross similarity to others, by the formation of a distinctive anatomical feature, the clamp connection, see below, cell wall components, and definitively by phylogenetic molecular analysis of DNA sequence data. Classification the most recent classification adopted by a coalition of 67 mycologists recognizes three subphyla, Pacinio-mycotina, Ustilogenomycotina, Agaricomycotina, and two other class-level taxa, Wallemiomycetes, Entorhizomycetes, outside of these, among the Basidiomycota. As now classified, the subphyla join and also cut across various obsolete taxonomic groups, see below, previously commonly used to describe Basidiomycota. According to a 2008 estimate, Basidiomycota comprise three subphyla, including six unassigned classes, 16 classes, 52 orders, 177 families, 1,589 genera, and 31,515 species. Traditionally, the Basidiomycota were divided into two classes, now obsolete. Homobasidiomycetes, alternatively called Holobasidiomycetes, including true mushrooms. Heterobasidiomycetes, including the jelly, rust, and smut fungi. Previously, the entire Basidiomycota were called Basidiomycetes, an invalid class level name coined in 1959 as a counterpart to the Ascomycetes, when neither of these taxa were recognized as divisions. The terms Basidiomycetes and Ascomycetes are frequently used loosely to refer to Basidiomycota and Ascomycota. They are often abbreviated to Basidios and ASCOS as mycological slang. Agaricomycotina The agaricomycotina include what had previously been called the hymenomycetes, an obsolete morphological based class of basidiomycota that formed hymenial layers on their fruit bodies, the gasteromycetes, another obsolete class that included species mostly lacking hymenia and mostly forming spores in enclosed fruit bodies, as well as most of the jelly fungi. The three classes in the Agaricomycotina are the Agaricomycetes, the Dacromycetes, and the Tremelomycetes. The class Wallemiomycetes is not yet placed in a subdivision, but recent genomic evidence suggests that it is a sister group of Agaricomycotina. Pacinio-mycotina. The Pacinio-mycotina include the rust fungi, the insect parasitic, symbiotic genus Septobacidium, a former group of smut fungi, in the Microbotryomycetes, which includes mirror yeasts, and a mixture of odd, infrequently seen, or seldom recognized fungi, often parasitic on plants. The eight classes in the Pacinio-mycotina are Agaricostilbomycetes, Attractiellomycetes, Classiculomycetes, Cryptomycocolacomycetes, Cystobacidiomycetes, Microbotryomycetes, Mixiomycetes, and Pacinio-mycetes. Ustilogenomycotina The Ustilogenomycotina are most, but not all, of the former smut fungi in the Exobacidiales. The classes of the Ustilogenomycotina are the Exobacidiomycetes, the Entorhizomycetes, and the Ustilogenomycetes. Typical life cycle Unlike animals and plants which have readily recognizable male and female counterparts, Basidiomycota, except for the rust, Pacinialis, tend to have mutually indistinguishable, compatible haploids which are usually mycelia being composed of filamentous hyphae. 
typically haploid basidiomycota micellia fuse via plasmogamy and then the compatible nuclei migrate into each other's micellia and pair up with the resident nuclei. Karyogamy is delayed, so that the compatible nuclei remain in pairs, called a dicaryon. The hyphae are then said to be dicaryotic. Conversely, the haploid mycelia are called monocaryons. Often, the dicaryotic mycelium is more vigorous than the individual monocaryotic mycelia, and proceeds to take over the substrate in which they are growing. The dicaryons can be long-lived, lasting years, decades, or centuries. The monocaryons are neither male nor female. They have either a bipolar, unifactorial, or a tetrapolar, bifactorial, mating system. This results in the fact that following meiosis, the resulting haploid basidiospores and resultant monocaryons, have nuclei that are compatible with 50%, if bipolar, or 25%, if tetrapolar, of their sister basidiospores, and their resultant monocaryons, because the mating genes must differ for them to be compatible. However, there are sometimes more than two possible alleles for a given locus, and in such species, depending on the specifics, over 90% of monocaryons could compatible with each other. The maintenance of the dicaryotic status in dicaryons in many basidiomycota is facilitated by the formation of clamp connections that physically appear to help coordinate and re-establish pairs of compatible nuclei following synchronous meiotic nuclear divisions. Variations are frequent and multiple. In a typical basidiomycota life cycle the long-lasting dicaryons periodically, seasonally or occasionally produce basidia, the specialized usually club-shaped end cells, in which a pair of compatible nuclei fuse karyogamy, to form a diploid cell. Meiosis follows shortly with the production of four haploid nuclei that migrate into four external, usually apical basidiospores. Variations occur, however. Typically the basidiospores are ballistic, hence they are sometimes also called ballistospores. In most species, the basidiospores disperse and each can start a new haploid mycelium, continuing the life cycle. Basidia are microscopic, but they are often produced on or in multicelled large fructifications called basidiocarps or basidiomes, or fruit bodies, variously called mushrooms, puffballs, etc. Ballistic basidiospores are formed on sterigmata which are tapered spine-like projections on basidia, and are typically curved, like the horns of a bull. In some basidiomycota the spores are not ballistic, and the sterigmata may be straight, reduced to stubs, or absent. The basidiospores of these non-ballistosporic basidia may either bud off, or be released via dissolution or disintegration of the basidia. In summary, meiosis takes place in a diploid basidium. Each one of the four haploid nuclei migrates into its own basidiospore. The basidiospores are ballistically discharged and start new haploid mycelia called monocaryons. There are no males or females, rather there are compatible thalli with multiple compatibility factors. Plasmogamy between compatible individuals leads to delayed karyogamy leading to establishment of a dicaryon. The dicaryon is long-lasting but ultimately gives rise to either fruit bodies with basidia or directly to basidia without fruit bodies. The paired dicaryon in the basidium fuse, i.e., karyogamy takes place. The diploid basidium begins the cycle again. Meiosis Copronopsis cinerea is a multicellular basidiomycete mushroom. It is particularly suited to the study of meiosis because meiosis progresses synchronously in about 10 million cells within the mushroom cap, and the meiotic prophase stage is prolonged. Burns et al. studied the expression of genes involved in the 15-hour meiotic process, and found that the pattern of gene expression of C. cinerea was similar to two other fungal species, the yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae and Schizosaccharomyces pomba. These similarities in the patterns of expression led to the conclusion that the core expression program of meiosis has been conserved in these fungi for over half a billion years of evolution since these species diverged. Cryptococcus neoformans and Ustilago mates are examples of pathogenic basidiomycota. Such pathogens must be able to overcome the oxidative defenses of their respective hosts in order to produce a successful infection. The ability to undergo meiosis may provide a survival benefit for these fungi by promoting successful infection. A characteristic central feature of meiosis is recombination between homologous chromosomes. This process is associated with repair of DNA damages, particularly double-strand breaks. 
The ability of C. neoformans and U. mates to undergo meiosis may contribute to their virulence by removing the oxidative DNA damages caused by their host's release of reactive oxygen species. Variations in life cycles Many variations occur. Some are self-compatible and spontaneously form dicaryons without a separate compatible thallus being involved. These fungi are said to be homothallic, versus the normal heterothallic species with mating types. Others are secondarily homothallic, in that two compatible nuclei following meiosis migrate into each basidiospore, which is then dispersed as a pre-existing dicaryon. Often such species form only two spores per basidium, but that too varies. Following meiosis, meiotic divisions can occur in the basidium. Multiple numbers of basidiospores can result, including odd numbers via degeneration of nuclei, or pairing up of nuclei, or lack of migration of nuclei. For example, the chanterelle genus Craterellus often has six spored basidia, while some corticeoid cystotrema species can have two, four, six, or eight spored basidia, and the cultivated button mushroom, Agaricus bisporus, can have one, two, three or four spored basidia under some circumstances. Occasionally, monocaryons of some taxa can form morphologically fully formed basidiomes and anatomically correct basidia and ballistic basidiospores in the absence of dicaryon formation, diploid nuclei, and meiosis. A rare few number of taxa have extended diploid life cycles, but can be common species. Examples exist in the mushroom genera Armillaria and Zerula, both in the Physolacriaceae. Occasionally, basidiospores are not formed in parts of the Basidia act as the dispersal agents, e.g. the peculiar mycoparasitic jelly fungus, Tetragoniomyces or the entire basidium acts as a spore, e.g. in some false puffballs, scleroderma. In the human pathogenic genus Cryptococcus, four nuclei following meiosis remain in the basidium, but continually divide mitotically, each nucleus migrating into synchronously forming nonballistic basidiospores that are then pushed upwards by another set forming below them, resulting in four parallel chains of dry basidiospores. Other variations occur, some as standard life cycles, that themselves have variations within variations, within specific orders. Rusts Rusts pachinialis, previously known as urdinales, at their greatest complexity, produce five different types of spores on two different host plants in two unrelated host families. Such rusts are heterocious, requiring two hosts, and macrocyclic, producing all five spores types. Wheat stem rust is an example. By convention, the stages and spore states are numbered by Roman numerals. Typically, basidiospores infect host 1, also known as the alternate or sexual host. The mycelium forms pycnidia, which are miniature, flask shaped, hollow, submicroscopic bodies embedded in host tissue, such as a leaf. This stage, numbered 0, produces single celled spores that ooze out in a sweet liquid and that act as nonmodal spermatia, and also protruding receptive hyphae. Insects and probably other vectors such as rain carry the spermatia from spermagonium to spermagonium, cross-inoculating the mating types. Neither thallus is male or female. Once crossed, the dicaryons are established and a second spore stage is formed, numbered I, and called AECIA, which form dicaryotic esiospores in dry chains and inverted cup-shaped bodies embedded in host tissue. These esiospores then infect the second host, known as the primary or asexual host, in macrocyclic rusts. On the primary host a repeating spore stage is formed, numbered 2. The irradiospores in dry pustules called urdinia. Irradiospores are dicaryotic and can infect the same host that produced them. They repeatedly infect this host over the growing season. At the end of the season, a fourth spore type, the teliospore, is formed. It is thicker walled and serves to overwinter or to survive other harsh conditions. It does not continue the infection process, rather it remains dormant for a period and then germinates to form basidia, stage IV, sometimes called a promycelium. In the pachinialis, the basidia are cylindrical and become three septate after meiosis, with each of the four cells bearing one basidiospore each. The basidiospores disperse and start the infection process on host one again. Autoecious rusts complete their life cycles on one host instead of two, and microcyclic rusts cut out one or more stages. 
Smuts The characteristic part of the life cycle of smuts is the thick-walled, often darkly pigmented, ornate, teleospore that serves to survive harsh conditions such as overwintering and also serves to help disperse the fungus as dry diaspers. The teleospores are initially dicaryotic but become diploid via karyogamy. Meiosis takes place at the time of germination. A promycelium is formed that consists of a short hypha equated to a basidium. In some smuts such as Ustilago mates the nuclei migrate into the promycelium that becomes septate i.e., divided into cellular compartments separated by cell walls called septa, and haploid yeast like canidia, basidiospores sometimes called sporidia, bud off laterally from each cell. In various smuts, the yeast phase may proliferate, or they may fuse, or they may infect plant tissue and become hyphal. In other smuts, such as Teletia caries, the elongated haploid basidiospores form apically, often in compatible pairs that fuse centrally resulting in H-shaped diaspores which are by then dicaryotic. Dicaryotic conidia may then form. Eventually the host is infected by infectious hyphae. Teleospores form in host tissue. Many variations on these general themes occur. Smuts with both a yeast phase and an infectious hyphal state are examples of dimorphic basidiomycota. In plant parasitic taxa, the saprotrophic phase is normally the yeast while the infectious stage is hyphal. However, there are examples of animal and human parasites where the species are dimorphic but it is the yeast-like state that is infectious. The genus Phylobasidiella forms basidia on hyphae but the main infectious stage is more commonly known by the anamorphic yeast name Cryptococcus, e.g. Cryptococcus neoformans and Cryptococcus gatti. The dimorphic basidiomycota with yeast stages and the pliomorphic rusts are examples of fungi with anamorphs, which are the asexual stages. Some basidiomycota are only known as anamorphs. Many are yeasts, collectively called basidiomycetes yeasts to differentiate them from ascomycetes yeasts in the ascomycota. Aside from yeast anamorphs, and yardinia, aecia and pycnidia, some basidiomycota form other distinctive anamorphs as parts of their life cycles. Examples are Colibia tuberosa with its apple seed shaped and colored sclerotium, Dendrocolibia racemosa with its sclerotium and its Tilocladiopsis racemosa canidia, Armillaria with their rhizomorphs, Hoenbuilia with their nematoctonus nematode infectious, state and the coffee leaf parasite, Messina citricolor and its decapitatus flavitus propagules called gemme. Genera incertisides there are several genera classified in the Basidiomycota that are 1. poorly known, 2. have not been subjected to DNA analysis, or 3. if analyzed phylogenetically do not group with as yet named or identified families, and have not been assigned to a specific family i.e., they are incertisides with respect to familial placement. These include See also Forest pathology List of Basidiomycota families Mating in fungi References Sources Kirk, P. M., Cannon, P. F., Stalpers, J. A. 2008. Dictionary of the Fungi, 10th ed. C. A. B. I. External links Basidiomycota at the Tree of Life Web Project